Bismillahirrahmanirrahim In today's lecture we are solving problem 1.1c, 1.2c and 1.3c from thermodynamics and engineering approach by Sengel. So solution of 1-1c this is the theoretical question what is the difference between classical and statistical approach to thermodynamics. So first is uh, statistical approach st statistical uh, sorry classical approach is basically depend on experimentation statistical uh, classical classical thermodynamics is basically based on experimentation experimentation while second is statistical approach of thermodynamics while statistical approach of thermo is basically is based on is based on the average number of experimentation for example if we have thousand uh, in statistical uh, approach for example we have for example we have hundred thousand samples so it is very difficult uh, for 100 sample it is very difficult for us to do experimental for our sample so we randomly select uh, approximately 20 to 30 samples and do the experimental uh, experimentation for these 30 samples and apply these uh, experimentation are the all samples so in uh, classical approach we do experimentation and uh, all the sample depend on experiment but in statistical approach uh, uh, we do some experiments and all samples uh, are depend on these experimentation similarly uh, solution of 1-2c 1-2c is why does a bicycle bicyclist pick up speed on downhill road even when he is not pedaling does this violate the conservation of energy principle so this is not the violation of a uh, conservation of principle because on a down on a downhill road on a downhill road uh, on the downhill roads uh, the potential energy potential energy is converted to converted to kinetic energy and so the bicycle bicyclist pick up speed so there is no energy generation because energy is neither created nor destroyed but can be converted from one to a no violation and no violation of a second law of thermodynamics second no, no, no violation of law of conservation of energy and no violation of law of conservation of energy uh, for example this is bicyclist uh, speed up from top to bottom here here potential energy is maximum and here kinetic energy is maximum when uh, when he speed up from uh, when, when he came down from this position from downhill 
has potential energy is converted into kinetic energy and some uh, and some met for his total energy will be potential energy plus kinetic energy and at this point potential energy will be zero and total energy will be kinetic energy so uh, if they speed up it does not mean that this is the violation of law of conservation of energy but potential energy is uh, converted to kinetic energy and total energy is conserved similarly uh, th one solution of 1-3c 1-3c is an office worker claimed that a cup of cold coffee and his table warm up to 80 degrees centigrade by picking up energy from the surrounding air which is 825 degrees centigrade is there any truth to his claim does the process violate any thermodynamics law this is cup of tea and this is cup of tea and the temperature of this cup is 80 degrees centigrade and 25 degrees centigrade is round and this and this man claims that this cup is warm up from the surrounding so this is violation of law of thermodynamics because heat is uh, heat is flow from high temperature body to low temperature body the claim of the man is violation of law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics because heat flow heat flow from a body at high temperature to a body at low temperature so it is not possible uh, flow of heat from, uh, from from surrounding at 25 degree to system at 80 degree it is not possible so this is violation of second law of thermodynamics and hence uh, this lecture completed and for more problems please like and subscribe my youtube channel thank you